On today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna review five portfolio, but we're gonna only review them on mobile. That's gonna be interesting. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to the show where we review designers and developers portfolios but today we're going to do this on mobile because i've been getting the feedback of yeah you show their portfolios on desktop and i look fantastic but most people actually will see your portfolio on the mobile so let's dive straight into it i've picked five portfolios that you've submitted to me on my instagram account when i did the prompt so by the way if you're not following me on instagram do that thing, follow on Instagram. I prompt them to send me um, portfolio there every once in a while. Let's get started. So this is the first website. Um, it's called Minimal Twix. And I can see that the menu is already sometimes disappearing and sometimes showing. So it's tweaking a little bit. Now, here's this is the first time I'm seeing this. And my first reaction to this is, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. So there's, I can see the first thing I can see the navigation because it's white. So it takes up a lot of, you know, a lot of um, contrast here. So uh, the first hierarchy because it's so bright. But then there's the first section, which is kind of a carousel with multiple works. And then there's the actual explanation. We are a buddies of budding startups. So basically the kind of the value proposition and then I can already see also the bottom are services here. So because I see too much, there is just too many things trying to grab my attention. And I don't know where to look first. So basically the what that means is there's no clear hierarchy. Everything is grabbing my attention. Navigation grabbing my attention, the carousel here grabbing my attention, the value proposition, and the end of the day, I don't see anything. And it looks like because it's still pretty much horizontal, um, the, the strips are horizontal, they did not really change it um, for mobile as if they would take up the whole space. So I would definitely First of all, I would put the, you know, the call, the explanation value proposition, I would put this on the top because this is what you want people to see first. And I would actually get this to take up more space. So, you know, the, the screen here would be a little bit clearer. I'm not a big fan of carousels anyway, because I feel like if you, if it really matters for me to see all of these, let me scroll through them because this way I'm not going to really see everything here. Um, so I just think first impression too much going on. Now, as I'm scrolling down, I get here to our services, branding, identity, and our work. Now, one thing that's jumping to me immediately is that, you know, the titles are center aligned, while the these ones, the actual buttons or whatnot are left aligned. And it kind of looks like everything is a little bit messy, because I would, you know, make a decision. Every, here, the text is left aligned, and the, the button, how we do it, which basically doesn't really look like a button, but that's a different problem. Everything here is left aligned. And here, all of a sudden, the, ti the titles are center aligned. So that's confusing. It looks like it lacks consistency, and then it just looks like a mess, right? So I encourage you to make a decision. You know, it can work well with center design, uh, center alignment on mobile, and also left alignment. But when you are mixing them both together, it just gives... Uh, a messy feel like you 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 know either it's a mistake or it just looks like a mess and confusing it doesn't help me to to get the feeling of clarity and organization um, in your design um, then the work actually looks pretty good the work looks pretty good our clients same thing that I feel about the carousel here if you want me to see the logos of your clients, don't. I'm not gonna wait here. I'm just gonna scroll through, right? So if it's important for me to see all of them, don't put them in a carousel. Just put them all in a big chunk. I would actually make the logos a little bit bigger because they're a little bit like I can't even read what's here, right? I have to zoom in to see that. Um, so yeah, I, I would just put them all not in the carousel and make them a little bit bigger. And then their feedback, this is basically testimonials, right? And I think that's great. Again, you know, I'm not a big favor of the carousels that they've been using here again and again. Um, let's spark some work together. All right, just last, last thing here um, is you can clearly see Let's Connect is a button. Um, but here, why we do it, 
doesn't really look like a button. So I would also try to be consistent with that. You know, a good user experience makes it very clear um, that this is a button that I should be clicking on while all of a sudden we have here view more and why we do it. Again, it's, it's a little bit less clear. Also, there is something weird here with the, you know, with the navigation. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be sticky or if it's going up. Um, yeah. All right. So this is minimal Twix. Let's move on to the next website. The next website is this, syncc.studio. Now here, as you can see, they've they've took the space here, so we only see the basically the value proposition here at the top, which is good because it's it's a little bit clarity. Um, immediately, I see this building brands that challenge by creating human narrative. At least the hierarchies are really good here. My problem here is that I'm looking at the you know left top corner, which is usually where you see the name of the company, and they've basically turned the name of the company into icons, right? So I see the domain is Sync C. So I guess it's supposed to be the left one is syncing, thinking, and the right one is seeing. But to be honest, when I land on a website like this, I'm gonna look at the top left corner and think, what website am I on? I don't even know what website, what's the name of this website, right? I'm not supposed to go check the domain name to see the name of the website. I wanna see it in the top left corner. So there's a little bit of a problem uh, here. Then the, the same thing that I said on the last website, get in touch, doesn't really look like a button. It's, you know, it's just a text, a white text. And this is also a white text. So get me, help me understand what is clickable and what isn't clickable. Now let's start scrolling here. Now they've made this kind of a, I'm not sure if it's really cool or annoying transition here where the um, text is coming from the sides. And then I get, I work with rents that know things can and should be better. Now I'm a little bit confused because who is I? You did not introduce yourself. There is, again, I'm not really sure, but it looks like a studio, Sing C Studio, and now you're talking in the first person. I work with brands. Who are you? You did not introduce yourself. I don't know who, who are you, what's your name? Um, so this is a little bit confusing. So I would make the decision whether you wanna treat yourself as a studio and then maybe speak in the we, you know, um, in plural, or you wanna make this a brand about yourself and then you can speak in the first person, but just, stay consistent about that. Um, now, again, th the thing here with this animation is that it's, I'm, I'm not, it might be cool, but it's actually kind of, you know, make this, at this point, I can't really read, right? I have to scroll all the way. And then here, if I would stop here, again, it's unaligned. So I'm not sure if these animation and interaction, which made this look cool, are actually slowing me down and make it harder for me to consume the content. Now I'm looking here at the creative strategy. I'm not really sure again if these are buttons or not. Brand strategy, are, if this, this is where I'm confused. Are these buttons or are these just titles? And they are very similar to the, you know, in terms of hierarchy to the visual identity. So I'm, I'm pretty confused here. What is the title of what? Are these part of the creative strategy? Uh, section or they're just not not directed to anyone or not related to anyone. It's a little the hierarchies are a little bit um, you know confusing here. I would probably because my assumption is they are part of these creative strategy. I would make this title a little bit bigger and clearer that this is kind of maybe like H two uh, heading and these are kind of like bullet points within it. It can be the same size um, if it's probably under the title of these. It needs to look like this needs to be, you know, the owner of this. So it's probably needs to be bigger and bolder. If it is, it's too, you know, too small of a, of a hierarchy change for me to know. The same is probably true for this. Let's work together. All right. The work I think is, the work is presented well, good thumbnails and good, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, all right. So I think there's some good things here and things that can improve. Let's move on into the next portfolio. So the next portfolio is this one for Anthony. Um, sorry, Anthony, yeah, Anthony, Anthony Salamin, web designer, web developer. So it's the same thing that we, uh, here maybe, Again, I'm a little bit conflicted whether it's good that we see this next thing here or it's not that good. 
also this logo is again I can't read the name here but at least I have the name here so I know what website I'm in however though you know this contact me looks like a subtext it definitely does not look like a button right I clicked it right now but by, by accident but if you want a call to action make it look like a call to action make it look like a button make you know give a contrast to the color so I would directly see if I want to talk to you how do I talk to you and by the way you have this thing here right I don't know this chat here uh, at the moment I'm offline and I can leave a message so if that is the case if that is the call to action maybe I don't need this and by the way note that there are four buttons here this one it's basically home we have the menu here and then we have the chat here and then we have some settings here which turns out to be the cookie setting so there's a lot of navigation going on here all right let's start scrolling now the thing here is that it's supposed to be kind of a you scheme and if you want to dive deep you click read the process but the thing is I'm trying to scheme here and as you know scheming means I'm only reading the headlines and I'll read the bottom if that's more interesting to me but note what what do the what do the titles say client I don't even know who the client is my role I don't I, I basically would prefer that you know the the title would be hotels AG right so this is the client and role I would just if you know it would just say web development or UX or something because right now I'm, I'm reading these titles and they, they don't really help me understand what do I need to know about this also you've wrote here so much that it's actually start to reading about the client their problem your role and stuff this is just a teaser for me to read about the project so you don't want to put so much text and note in the, the previous two portfolio was just basically a thumbnail and a button to read more uh, and then maybe the name of the client so I think this is way too much for you know text for just scheming right you want to have this screenshot which are good the screenshots looks good and then read the process and note this is a button I can see this is a button where here this is not a button all right, so you know to create calls to action when you want to. So use them as well on the top if you want. All right, so this looks good. Berlin map. Not really sure always what is the purpose of showing a map. Maybe if you're working with local clients, um, that makes sense. Right, overall, not a bad website, Anthony. All right, let's move to the next one, Louis. Jordan hey I'm Louis a freshly baked designer who is specializing in UX and UI design now we have a problem here that probably I can imagine that on desktop you know the text is next to his face but right now on mobile the text is actually on his face and so you basically you can't really see who it is so the ba the the background just turns to be kind of an annoying you know uh, pattern in the background that doesn't mean anything because I can't really see him um, so I would either crop or make sure that the text is aligned to the top so you can see his face on the bottom but something here needs to be changed because right now it's not helpful to put the text on your face Louis um, so let's start to scroll down okay calls to action by the way here email LinkedIn and I don't know what that one is but they're pretty clear so let's start scrolling all right so all right so note what happened here so this is okay again note here here the title is the client name good then there's a little bit of a text about the project and there's no button to read next is it even clickable yeah it is clickable but there's no button that tells me that I can click there so I would probably oh I see here showcase study so the button in the text showcase that he is pretty hidden I would it would make way much more sense if it was here on the bottom of this paragraph uh, showcase study because I scan this if I want to read more I'd click here it doesn't make sense to put the showcase study here on the image now something here again with the transition animation as I scroll it looks empty like why is this empty why because there's a coming in uh, transition here what, where's the text the text doesn't come in because it's waiting for the entry transition so you know I just read <laughs> a post about how annoying these intro 
transitions are and they actually make the experience slower to consume. And since reading this, I can't avoid to actually feeling like every time I see these intro animation, are they actually helping us or they're just you know, and, and I, I'm not free from doing them myself on my website and probably I should remove them soon as well because I do find it like, again, I'm scrolling, everything is empty. Where's, am I at the bottom of the page? So maybe I should just go. No, there's something here. So again, right, so that's me, young, eager, funny, minimalistic. I love this, this is great. I always love to know who I might be hiring. Beth thinks comes in threes. Okay, I would definitely remove the animations, but otherwise, pretty good work, Louis or Louis. Um, let's move on to the last website, barcaro.com. All right, here we have a problem. I don't know if you see this on the screen, but the way I see it, like the the text in dark blue is very almost. I can't really really see it. I can ba basically see the logo and we create, and then. The, the premium website, I really have to work very hard to try to read it. The menu is almost unvisible and something here is rotating, but I can definitely not read what it says. Um, so it's annoying that it's changing. We have the same issue here with the transition animation. Be three times greater. Elevate your brand with value with top-notch digital identity. Something to note here is, you know, with typography, you always want to try to do your best to make sure that you don't have only one word alone in line. That's called in type talk. Um, orphan, you don't want to leave an orphan um, here at the, you know, at the, the, the end of your line. It just looks pretty bad. So if you would make this text a little bit bigger, maybe digital identity would break down as well. Or maybe if you make the line a little bit shorter, and then it would be a little bit more readable and nice. So again, same issue here with the scroll interaction. We imagine unique designs and do the right way. Here, I actually feel like there is not enough padding to the, you know, from the edge of the screen. And when the the text is so tight to the screen, like edge to edge, it's actually a little bit hard, not a little bit, it's hard to read. So that's a problem. Um, and we have the same thing here with the work as a, an orphan. So I would definitely give a little bit more padding to the left and the right of the text here. Who we are, again, I, I find this rotating thing a little bit annoying because I have to wait for like 10 seconds until it gets to the <laughs> correct position that I'll be able to read it only now meet our clients. So I'm not in favor of these rotating things. Work and grow, do great things. Here, I'm, again, I'm not sure if something should animate here or we just have a blank page or something, but there's definitely a problem there. Work with us. Again, we've seen this multiple times where the buttons are not really clear that they are buttons. There's work with us dot, as if this is the end of the sentence, and then we have the arrow. So that's a little bit confusing as to a button. It doesn't really look like a button. All right, all right. So those have been five portfolios. I hope, I think we've seen some common patterns in terms of how to align content, how do you use interactions of text reveal, how do you make sure that people know where you are on the website, who is the owner of the website, and um, yeah, some, some kind of mobile related problems in terms of how you arrange the space on the screen. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you like this mobile version of Portfolio Reviews, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.